for tutorials, and you are watching the last ever tutorial in the Dark Basic Professional tutorial series. Now, uh, in this tutorial, uh, as you can see, it looks a little bit different, and the reason for that is I'm not going to be teaching you any new commands on this one, which is obviously a yay, but um, I'm going to be just just presenting you with a challenge and the challenge is to replicate this program right here and I called it Moscow and here it goes it says the password is Moscow type in the password and I'm going to type in something incorrect like my name incorrect and then it waits for a bit and then goes back uh, I can type in something else different, like some gibberish. Incorrect. No kidding. Uh, Moscow, uh, which is actually the password. And we'll press enter, and it'll say correct. Press any key to end. And I can press a key, like now, and it will end the program. Now, I am deliberately not showing you the Dark Basic Professional Editor right now, because then you'd be able to see the code, which would not be good. <coughs> so, uh, after you are finished um, replicating this program, I urge you to take a video of your screen and uh, post a video response of you demonstrating your abilities and your program. And the password can be anything you want. Uh, so, to record your screen, there's this program I use called Cam Studio. Uh, and this is the website, just camstudio.org. We can go down. And once we get here, it'll say download links, Cam Studio, then a whole bunch of other links. This is the one we want, the one that says camstudio20.exe. I think it actually is supposed to mean 2.0, but whatever. I may be wrong. Anyway, you click on that. You install your program, uh, the Cam Studio program, and then once you're finished with that, you can open up Cam Studio, and this is kind of what it'll look like, uh, unless you have it set onto a different thing, you can change the view from the view section, so anyway, um, this big record button records the screen, and you can choose your region, I usually use full screen, and I don't think I've actually used anything else in my tutorials, uh, options, you can, you can, or it doesn't matter. I don't really care whether you use a microphone or don't use a microphone. But um, there's always the option if you have a microphone. Um, and, oh, by the way, if, if you were not able to install this program without my help, then you probably wouldn't have made it this far in the video anyways. So, and if you have, then you probably haven't understood any of it. And you should look for something simpler to work on, like how to use the install wizard. Uh, so anyway, um, that's it for this video. And I thank you for watching this entire tutorial series. Uh, unless you've just skipped ahead to this point. Anyway, um, I thank you. And good luck in your future ventures of... Dark Basic Professional Programming. Goodbye.